My name is Peter, and uh, I've been running a microgreen company for just a bit over a year now. Um, I've been growing microgreens for um, just over two years. Um, started as a hobby, and went and uh, you know thought to myself, "Hey, you know, I can do this as a business," um, just like most of you guys watching out there. And so, you know, I kind of, you know, did a lot of research and uh, put some, you know, a lot of, did a lot of fact finding, I guess you can say, um, you know, over the last many, many months before starting this business. Um, you know, luckily for me, I had uh, a good amount of time in the, in the business sector, um, you know, working for various companies um, over the last many years due to my, my position that I held. Um, so I was able to take that knowledge and I guess, uh, you know, translate it into starting my own company along with something that I loved as a hobby, which was, you know, growing microgreens. Right now for us, uh, it's basically pretty much winter time. It's, it's uh, mid-December. Uh, our farmer's markets are slowing down. Um, and due to uh, COVID-19 outside, I live in a state where um, a a lot of restaurants are pretty much closed their doors for the most part right now. So it's been a little slow um, and I thought I'd take the opportunity to create a YouTube channel and help educate um, others. Uh, we're going to go through lots of different things throughout the course of this channel, this YouTube channel. Uh, we're going to talk about how to grow a variety of over 30 different microgreens. We're also going to talk about um, you know, the budget that you're going to need to start your own microgreen company, the types of materials that you need to get started as well, uh, you know, running the back end portion of a microgreen business. You know, everybody talks about how to grow microgreens, right? But not too many people talk about the back end side of the business and what it takes to run a business. Um, so we'll get into those types of things throughout this channel. Um, I'm going to start off most likely with a large variety maybe not a large variety, but a smaller variety of microgreen videos and how-to tutorials. And then we'll kind of mix it up a little bit as we go along and we'll start talking about, you know, different things about the back end of the business. Um, we'll talk a little bit about how to brand your company, um, which is very important. I personally think branding your company is one of the most important things. Um, when I originally started looking at um, how to get into uh, like farmers markets and such, a lot of farmers markets, um, you know, turned me down at first until I had really good branding and these, um, you know, these managers, these, these farmer, these managers of these farmers markets saw my branding, and once I showed them how you know good my branding was and 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 really spoke volumes to them, um, I was immediately, I was. Lots of markets were actually trying to pick me up because our branding was so good. So, um, you know, branding is very important. We'll talk about how to brand yourselves. Um, you know, with branding goes along with, you know, packaging, labeling your microgreens, you know, what it's supposed to look like. Um, we'll go over, um, you know, different size packaging. Um, you know, I, I do four ounces of microgreens in this. I do two ounces in this. And we can do even do like a, a one ounce little container of microgreens right here. Um, all of our containers are 100% um, biodegradable, compostable. They're made um, from, from cornstarch. Um, it's a little bit more expensive, but it's definitely worth it, especially when you think about the demographic of people that buy microgreens. Um, they're very environmentally sound um, and very well educated. So. We'll talk about that, obviously, you know, we'll, we'll get to those types of videos and stuff as well. Um, you know, when it comes to branding, we have, uh, you know, how to, how to make a label, um, you know, different ways of how to create your label, um, you know, resources and how to uh, hire somebody to create a label for you at a very cheap cost, um, you know, as well as how to print your labels, how to, uh, you know, put your, your weight, date harvested, um, I personally like date harvested on my label because um, it really shows people, you know, when when we cut them, uh, they feel very comfortable knowing that hey, wow, this you know this was cut two days ago. Um, they're very educated and uh, they feel a little bit better than just you know expiration date, I guess you can say. So, um, you know, we have <sighs> um, we also have um, a product brochure that I um, I personally created. 
um, uh, with the help of somebody else um, that you know professionally does these, um, I actually use Fiverr for a lot of my information. Um, and we'll go through through the course of these videos how to use Fiverr, how to hire somebody to help you with your branding, um, and, and help you make materials. Um, I personally put all the information I could down into a, an Excel spreadsheet, uh, all different kinds of information um, from you know how long it takes to grow microgreens, the taste of a certain microgreen. Um, you know, the, the color, you know, flavor, nutrients, all, all types of stuff. And I put it into a giant spreadsheet with each one of my crops. And I, I gave it to somebody and said, hey, you know, here's pictures, here's all this information, you know, help me make a, um, you know, product catalog. Uh, Provided with, you know, a ton of chef pictures, all kinds of stuff. And, you know, we came up with this beautiful product catalog and uh, it, it's just gorgeous. We can get into that later, obviously, again. But you know, you, you hand something like that to a chef along with some samples, and it just speaks volumes about your company, um, the kind of product that you're going to give to them. Uh, those are the types of things we're going to be talking about here in between our grows. Um, we'll, get, we'll definitely get into those videos as well. So. Uh, another thing we're going to talk about is uh, you know, how, to, how to set up your farmer's market, the types of things to kind of set your stand apart from other people, and, and not just you know, we're not just talking about set yourself a, a, apart from a, another microgreen grower or, or so forth. You know, you want to actually stand out from everybody at the farmer's market. Some of the other things to think about with the farmer's market is, you know, some of the issues you're going to have, uh, such as the summertime, you know, the, uh, the sun, right? The, the containers, you know, the sun hits these containers out on your table. And, um, you know, the, the, the greens start to wilt very fast in the summer and during the summertime. So, um, you know, we have different ways to combat that and stuff, you know, different ideas, um, how to store your greens. But as, it's very important to display your greens onto the table as well because if people don't see um, that you have your greens there, they, they tend to kind of, you know, keep on moving. But if you have an abundance of things on your table, um, people will absolutely stop and see what you're selling. So we'll, we'll talk about all those types of things when at the farmer's market. So um, another video that we're going to do in, upcoming, um, in an upcoming series for sure. Um, you know, we'll talk about how to get into restaurants, right? We talked a little bit about product brochure, and, um, but, but it's important to know how to, uh, to reach out to a restaurant. Um, you know, we'll talk about, you know, bringing samples to chefs, how to follow up and follow up and follow up again. <laughs> you'll, you'll see that you really have to follow up on chefs. Um, and, and sometimes it's not because they don't want to buy your product. Um, you know, it, it's a very taxing and demanding job to be a chef, and sometimes they just kind of forget and, uh, you know, in one ear out the other, and, uh, uh, you know, you just got to keep on following up with them, and it's not that they don't like your product. Um, everybody who's tried our product is, <laughs> our return base of clientele is just, it's through the roof. Once you educate somebody, once they try it, once they bring it home, um, they always come back. Um, the majority of them, I should say. Um, so, and, and chefs are really the same way. So, but we'll talk about and how to get into restaurants and such and um, future videos as well. So, um, but yeah, you know, I, I hope, uh, you know, you really enjoy um, what I'm going to try to put together for everyone. Um, again, it's very slow right now. Um, I'm not even growing right now. My next farmer's market is in two weeks. Um, so I'm going to start growing in a few more days. So it's a little barren right now, as you can see. Um, but, you know, we, we do very well at our farmer's market. We do a couple hundred dollars in sales a day at farmer's markets. Um, so it's, it's pretty lucrative, for sure. Uh, but, you know, for, during the winter, why it is slow, I really want to take the time to uh, really put together some great information and put it out there and uh, construct just a, a, a YouTube channel just packed with information for everyone. Um, I think it'd be a lot of fun, um, and I'm really looking forward to pass on you know, what I know to you. We have a very large list of uh, videos that I've, I've constructed um, that we're going to be putting together. Uh, and there's no order, I guess you can say, on, on the type of material we're going to be putting together. Um, it does obviously take time to put um, these videos together. So if there's anything specific that you want to see, uh, you know, make sure you put that in those comments because uh, I'm going to be really looking out for those comments uh, and really getting some, some feedback and opinions on, on where we want this channel to be going over the next several months. Uh, I think it's going to be really important for, for you know, me to get feedback and uh, you know, pivot a little bit here and there. I do have um, an order of, of, of crops that I want to start growing first, second, third, fourth, and so forth. Uh, but again, you know, that's, um, 
it, it's all up to you know what the viewers want, I guess you can say. So uh, be, feel free to you know put in those comments what you want to see, what you want to see the most, and uh, you know we'll go from there, and we'll just you know we'll go together. It's it's one big journey together, and I'm really excited for for everyone to you know come on board and um, you know support us, and uh, I'm looking forward to supporting you. Hello everyone, Peter here from Princeton Microgreens. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. Also, if you have any ideas, suggestions, or questions, feel free to leave them below in the comment box. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.